Hello, good people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We are so excited to have you again. A lot is happening as Nigerians are preparing for the elections come 2023. The presidential election will be holding in the month of February 2023. And right now, it's not um, Atiku Abubakar is not really enjoying his candidacy because Wike is making it overly uncomfortable for him via the, um, the chairman, the national chairman of the party, talking about Dr. Ayu. Right now, Wike has released another bombshell and he's telling PDP, that they will help them to lose the election. Now, in another related development, yesterday, obedient were really excited over the statement of Wiki because he told Nigerians also that um, he will do the beatings of Nigerians and not the beating of anybody. I'm going to bring all of this news together for you to hear exactly the words of Wiki and also look at what the reactions of Nigerians are right away. Now, according to the news, the River State Governor has threatened to help the People's Democratic Party, PDP, lose the 2023 presidential elections. The governor issued a threat at the commissioning of the internal road in Omerolu community in Equerio local government area of River State on Thursday. The governor, who was responding to recent comment by the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Ayucha Ayu said the chairman is exhibiting arrogance. According to him, he said, Dr. Ayu said we are children. Yes, the children brought you from the gutter to make you chairman. Now we have seen that you don't want the party to win elections. We will help you. These children you said we are that brought you from nothing are you. You said you founded this party, but you left the party in 2007. You founded a company. You left the company. People stood and brought out the company to what it is today. You have no moral right to still come and claim that you founded that company. You left it with your shares. You want to show integrity. You can. You want to show party a party to Nigeria that we want to take over. You must convince Nigerians that we have the integrity. You are the driver that will drive the vehicle to convey us to our destination. That is the victory we are looking for. If the driver has no integrity and cannot show honesty, how do you convince Nigerians? If you tell Nigerians something and cannot do it, is it when you enter into power that you will do it? Nigerians have seen how ungrateful some of you can be. And that is why Nigerians also want to be careful. If we give these people power, are you sure that they will also be grateful to Nigerians? In another related news, the River State Governor has opened up to Nigerians that he won't do the bidding of few individuals, but that of Nigerians. He spoke on Wednesday in the local government area of the state when he flagged off the Iguruta Internal Route Project. According to him, he said, time will come when Nigerians will know this type of characters. Characters that will say all kinds of things because of power. Characters that will not, or that characters that will be agent to destroy their own people. They should take one day fasting and prayer for their forgiveness because from what I have seen, they are almost doomed. Hmm. He went further to say that there is no amount of trade that will make me betray my people. I won't do that. What I have said today is what I will say always. Go and check our history. We are not known for being betrayers at all. Some people threaten that they are former generals. They are close to CIA, that Central Intelligence Agency in America. They can deal with us. I say, listen, no problem. If you are close to America, CIA, why didn't you use it to solve the Boko Haram problem? Nigeria has a serious problem and you are linked to CIA. Why not use the contact and solve Nigeria's problem? You want to use it to threaten me? Who are you? I should come and do your own bidding. I will not do that. I will do the biddings of Nigerians, not the biddings of a few individuals who believe that if they are not there, it must be their children. No other person should come up. 
I will not do that. A day shall come and River State will take a decision on what to do. Wiki also said River's votes are not for free, adding that Nigerians will be surprised at the outcome of the 2023 election if the Independent National Electoral Commission ensures fairness and transparency. My God, I don't know what is going on right now in PDP and also in APC, but from all indication, things are working together for the good of obedience. Peter Obi, uh, already I'm seeing him as the president of Nigeria. The only thing is that we are waiting for February 2023. A lot of people have said that it's not going to be possible. But if you look at how things are working out, Adi Anju said he's going to come out a far take position in the forthcoming election. But if you look at the things that are happening thus far, you can bear with me that it is working for the, for, for the good of Peter Obi. There is a lot of Bahaha going on, a lot of Wutu Wutu going on in you know PDP and APC. PDP is having so many issues. A lot of things are coming up for APC, such that one cannot even explain. Just some few days, I saw some stuff, some write up that uh, actually um, uh, the person of uh, Bolag Metinibu was not born in the month he said, or in the year he said he was born. That's why he's not bringing out his document that he was actually born in 1935. I don't know how true that information is, and I cannot publish that. But then it's just like a grapevine, which I'm just letting you know. So uh, already, so much instability in all the parties. I could still also remember that they were supposed to convene for something, but you know, it's not happening the way it should be. Togetherness is one of the things that can puts you in any lofty position immediately the people are united and they are working for a particular cause that cause is sure to be achieved but unfortunately apc is not pdp now has a lot of issues to handle the party is disintegrating day after day you know well yeah we've heard that a lot of people are leaving other parties to pdp and all of that are you some yesterday went to bring in some people and all of that but then we all know that uh, a particular state called river state holds a great good for any party that can win that state. And everybody knows that that, that state is a PDP state. But right now, what is happening between uh, uh, IU, Wike, and Atiku Abubaka is so destabilizing for the members. They have been calling him from all nooks and crannies to see how he can align. But, you know, if you have listened to the news very well, the guy is just saying, well, if these people cannot honor what we want them to do, then let them get ready to lose the elections. And, I mean, the whole thing seems to be working for our good. Now, if you listen to the last thing, the last paragraph of the second news I presented, um, he said something very touching, which should cause them to listen well. He said that if uh, INEC allowed transparency and fairness to be the order of the day for 2023 elections, that they are going to see surprise outcome, surprise outcome. And guess what? It's sure to happen. The only people that can stop it from happening is INEC. But Nigerian youths are ready for anybody who will stop fairness and transparency in the upcoming election. People are ready to be party uh, agents any way they are. And guess what? Party agents are not going to be won because Nigerians will be watching with all their eyes in the box to ensure that whatever that is counted is the right thing. So right now, Peter Obi should, you know, just keep celebrating and keep moving on because from all indication, he might be the next president of Nigeria. We hope so. And we know that God will help it to happen because Nigerians are eager to see the change that will take us from this Mary Claire to the mountaintop. That's where I like to leave it. Go to our comment section.